In this video, I'll show you how to save Captain Kirihi during the Vermeer mission in Mass Effect. I'll also show you a very important role that Kirihi can play in Mass Effect 3 if he's still alive. Keep watching to see it all. In the battle today, we will hold a line! What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The Assault on Vermeer is one of the most perilous missions in the first Mass Effect game, which can lead to the deaths of multiple characters. Rex, Ashley, Caden, and even Captain Kirihi can all potentially die during the attack on Saren's Krogan breeding facility. I have full videos about saving Rex, Ashley, and or Caden on Vermeer as well. Links in the description if you want to check those out. After meeting up with Kirihi's team and resolving the confrontation with Rex, the Salarian captain will ask you to leave behind one of your crew to support his diversion effort. In order to save Captain Kirihi, you will need to complete four optional objectives as you approach the base. These objectives must be completed in the order they appear. If you miss one and try to double back to finish it, Kirihi will still be killed. The squad mate you left with the Salarians, either Ashley or Caden, will let you know what these objectives are over the radio. Mono Vi is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the Geth target. The first objective is to disable Geth communications. When you reach the communications tower, you will face heavy Geth resistance. Once you've cleared out all the enemies, simply head up to the second floor, approach the triangulation tower console, and deactivate it to disrupt the enemy's communications. When you complete any of the objectives, you will be given an on-screen notification, so there is no doubt when the deed is done. They're calling sat strikes. They don't watch the ground stations. Williams, can you see anything? The second objective is to destroy the Geth satellite uplink. As you approach this fortified location, you will notice a satellite dish on top of the building. You simply need to shoot it down or use biotics to destroy the dish. Destroying the equipment at the bottom of the base does nothing, so be sure you take out the satellite dish on the roof. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. As you make your way across the raised catwalks, Ashley or Caden will chime in to let you know the third objective, which is to destroy some Geth flyers located at a nearby refueling platform. Shoot them all down, or destroy them how you see fit, then proceed to the entrance of the base. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but it might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Once you reach the doors, one of your squad mates will hack the console and give you two options. Disable the alarms or trigger alarms on the other side of the base to take the pressure off your team. In order to save Kirihi, just disable the alarms. Do not trigger alarms on the far side of the base, otherwise Kirihi will be killed in the fighting. This is the fourth and final objective you must complete. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. With these tasks accomplished, Kirihi will survive the mission. I'd also like to point out that the decision to save Ashley or Caden is completely independent of what you need to do to save Kirihi. So if you decide to double back and save the squad member you assigned to defend the bomb, Kirihi will still survive, so long as you completed the four required objectives mentioned in this video. After the mission, Kirihi's crew will remain on the Normandy briefly, and you can speak with the Salarian captain. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. During Mass Effect 2, you can discuss Captain Kirihi with Morden on your ship. The dialogue will be slightly different if Kirihi survived. Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. 
I worked with an STG captain named Kira He. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. However, if Kirihi died, Morden will say this instead. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. During Mass Effect 3, you will have the opportunity to speak with Kirihi again at several points, starting with Priority Sir Kesh. Kirihi has since been promoted to Major, who offered to support Shepard's plan to retake Earth and is recruited as a war asset. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Attention. Good to see you again. Your... Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. Shepard will receive an email from Kirihi after the mission is over. The message is titled, Holding the Line. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sir Kesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I want to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Best of luck, Major Kirihi. If Thane died or was not recruited in Mass Effect 2, then Kirihi can play a major role during the attack on the Citadel. When Kai Lang tries to assassinate the Salarian Counselor, Kirihi will sacrifice himself to save the Counselor's life. No. No, it's fun. Kirihi! Just like Thane, Kirihi will die during this encounter. You're bleeding, and I don't think Metagel's gonna cover it. I was right, though. It was an honor to fight with you again. Valern's safe. We flushed out the assassin. Now get him. Shepard, what's going on up there? We lost another Salarian, but the counselor's okay. I need to catch up to an assassin. This is important because if Thane and Kirihi are both out of the picture, then Kai Lang will kill the Salarian counselor. This will make it more difficult to convince Ashley or Caden to stand down at the end of the mission because Udina will show them fabricated security footage, making it look like Shepard killed the counselor. But that's a topic for another video. If Thane and Kirihi are both alive, then Kirihi will survive until the end of the game, and you can see him one more time on Earth, where he will be giving a speech to his men. This scenario only occurs if Rex died in Mass Effect 3 after you sabotage the Genophage cure. Otherwise, the Krogan will be here instead. So there you have it. How to save Captain Kirihi in Mass Effect. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.